Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Ethereum hard fork London has finally happened, which includes EIP-1559 and others. And we're going to go through what it entails and how it changes the Ethereum ecosystem. Also provides a small glimpse of the timeline, maybe for Ethereum 2.0, but only the recombination process. So, yeah, so this particular hard fork includes a total, I think, of five EIPs. Now, EIP-1559 is the one that everyone talks about. And that is, uh, it replaces the auction style fee with an auto algorithm set fee. And it reduces the fee volatility. <clears throat> so uh, miners have to depend more on block rewards and tips. So it's not good for miners. And that's why they wanted to revolt. But obviously they didn't revolt because it actually went through. Um, it also has greater block variance for more flexibility. And it should make ETH supply deflationary. So this is the big one everyone talks about. Deflationary replaces auction style fees with auto um, algorithmic set fees, which should reduce fees and greater block variance and supply deflation. Very, very cool. Uh, should help Ethereum go on in the future. Then there's EIP 3554, and that deflates the difficulty bomb until December 1st. The difficulty bomb is basically it makes mining a lot more difficult. Kind of like Bitcoin's having, sort of, kind of. But it may not actually happen. And... Um, if they could possibly delay it again, because I think December 1st gives us a timeline of like when uh, the two, like Ethereum 1.0 and 2.0 are supposed to combine. This is not when smart contracts become available or anything, but this is just kind of like when the two blocks kind of combine and then mining becomes more or less obsolete. But they may not be ready. And my guess is they will delay this again because, you know, Ethereum stuff is pretty much always delayed when it comes to 2.0 stuff. So my guess is like it's probably not going to happen until next year for the recombination, but right now they are looking at the difficulty bomb being delayed to December 1st. My guess is they don't actually want it to happen until the two um, chains like recombine and then like mining essentially just becomes obsolete. Might take a while. Then there's EIP 3829 or 3529. I think it's 3529, I'm not really sure. The number doesn't really matter all that much. So it re that reduces the gas refunds um, around like smart contracts. Now that you might be wondering, why would they reduce the gas refunds on smart contracts? Are they trying to screw people? No, it's because gas tokens were trying to game the system by basically uh, putting themselves in when gas fees are cheap and then taking refunds when gas fees are expensive. So that stops gaming the system. And there were several tokens that were in there uh, and taking up space specifically for the purpose of gaming the system. So that will be gone now with EI, this EIP. And then there's EIP 3198. And that uh, forces people that are returned to fee, uh, base fee opcode, and that improves efficiency. And other ways to execute smart contracts may not be available, which brings us to the last EIP, 3541. And that upgrades the EVM, and it removes the ability to start new contracts on OXEF executable formats, uh, makes it a little more efficient, um, you know, reduces logjam a little bit, and basically streamlines Ethereum. So those are the improvements on Ethereum, like the five EIP improvements. There should be a big upgrade for Ethereum. It's gotten a lot more press than other upgrades. And I think the main thing is 1559 still reduces volatility of auction fees. I mean, it reduces the volatility of fees so you can predict that the fees will be $15 instead of having it be anywhere from five to you know, $50. And that should help uh, people and that should make supply deflationary, which should help Ethereum in the long run. And they make it deflationary not by killing the inflation, but by with uh, with certain burn fees. Because uh, that is how kind of like how they change the uh, fee structure as well. So that is the uh, news for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and you understand what Ethereum is. I still think Cardano and Polkadot will actually be better in the future. But uh, when they actually launch, and Cardano is launching probably beginning of September with their smart contracts. But Ethereum is getting up there. And with Layer 2, it should have some decent scaling, especially for NFT games, which are getting really hot. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.